Hello, it's Steve White, Steve White's 89. Well, another movie that is getting a sequel is um, Venom. They're doing a third Venom. Now, Venom's a bit funny because the first film took everyone by surprise. No one really expected it to be any good or make any money. It made $856 million, and people sort of stepped back and, like, noticed that this film was doing well. And there was a lot of pressure on the second film. Um, I really didn't feel compelled to see it. I didn't see it. I didn't really feel excited about it. I sort of, I don't know, I saw Venom, I liked it, but I wasn't really excited about it. And then the second film only made 502 million. So that's well, not half, but it's quite a lot less. Uh, and I think they're expecting more. I think they're expecting all the people to have had have discovered it um, the first time to go out and see it again and bring more people in and they're expecting to make more money. Now sequels often don't, but it sort of depends. Sometimes they do. I mean, look at um, No Way Home. That made a lot more than the other two Spider-Man films, and everyone's acting like that was always going to make that much money. Uh, no one expected the third film to make that much money, and considering post everything. So we get that. And we're also are getting a Batman, the Batman sequel. So that's not really surprising, but some people were saying that it didn't make a lot of money, basically. I was going to say no money, but a lot of people were saying that it didn't make enough money because, okay, it made 700 and something million, but... You know, it cost a lot. It was on hold for a long time. It, um, you know, there was a lot of expectations about it. The other Batman films made more money. But um, apparently made enough to get a sequel. So, yep. So uh, it was announced by, I think, Variety. Um, Toby Emmerich was talking about it. Uh, Matt Reeves is possibly coming back. We know that um, Sparkly Boy, I've forgotten his name, Robert Patterson, he's coming back. And um, um, is it Zoe Kravitz? Basically, everyone's coming back, and there's talk about now which Joker we're going to get, because we've got a deleted scene with a very interesting-looking Joker, which I didn't like, and I'm glad he wasn't in the film. But are we just going to see him, or are they going to do make a second try at a Joker for this for this sequel? Because some people were talking about having um, Joaquin Phoenix's Joker somehow, somehow merge them together, but um, then they went and did their own Joker, so I don't know. Um, it's interesting. I don't know, I don't think I'll be seeing the third Venom in the, in the cinema, that's for sure. I, I might watch them both on DVD. Um, I'll probably watch the original one again. I liked um, Tom Hardy, I've always liked him, and Michelle Williams was good as well. The film itself was good, I just sort of... Why do I really want to see some guy struggling with an alien superhero monster attached to him? It's sort of... I sort of saw it once, I saw it, and that was it. I don't sort of, I don't sort of want to go back to the character, I don't really sort of want to join their adventures. Um, so, yeah, I'm kind of wondering how well that's going to do. Is it just going to be diminishing returns all the way down and they give up after a third one and they basically give it a trilogy? I don't know. But um, I've really got my attention, so I talked about them for a minute. I'm um, curious what, what other people think. Um, I mean, I do want to see a Batman, the Batman sequel because I want to see them just flesh out the whole universe, do their trilogy. Like, this all seems to be a trilogy thing with all these films now. So I think... They've set up the universe, they may as well go with it. But I wasn't impressed by the penguin. I saw the makeup um, putting being put on the actor, and I'm like, they spent all that time and money just to make a less attractive version of, you know, the actor they had. They could have just got an actor who looked like that. Whereas there was a comparison between Danny DeVito's makeup, and of course it was very strong and extreme, and had a strong, you know, character and look and everything, and. It sort of seemed worth sitting in the chair for a couple of hours. I'm not quite sure why um, Colin did it. But, um, yeah. I'm still curious to see what they do. I haven't seen the film yet. I've heard good things, a few iffy things, but, um, you know, they're already things we knew. But um, people just... I don't. I think some people just aren't going to like Robert Patterson no matter what. But I'm going to go. Feel free to share, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think of the, um, the potential for these films. I, I, I think Venom's just going to go, keep going down and disappear. The Batman, I don't know if it's going to build and get better or bigger if they add to it and build on it, or if it's just, yeah, I don't know. Some people are saying it's a disappointment, other people are saying it's, you know, Warner Brothers' biggest sort of success, and it's just done really well on, I think, HBO Max, it just got released, so being, people being able to pay for it now for um, pay on demand and streaming and all that, so I don't know, maybe, maybe it's got a, a enough of a life in it, but we'll see. I'm going to go. Feel free to share, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Thanks. Bye.